Hey there, Gamer Nation. SKS here with SKS Plays, a blog. This is part blog, part vlog. Thought I'd give you the update. This is the one I've been promising for quite some time. We got a long thing to go through. Part of this blog is going to be me talking to you through a series of pictures and going over things we've accomplished in the channel and what we're going to next in the next stages. And then I'm actually going to join you live via the well it's not going to be live for you it's live for me recording it but it's going to be through the actual webcam so that you all will be able to see my awesome face I'm going to be dressed up I'm going to look snazzy for you you're probably going to be lucky if I get a wife beater on but um yeah I've got a lot of stuff to go through this could be a little lengthy but I do hope you watch the video uh I've put it took me a while a couple of days to get this stuff together so that we could talk about it and uh, go through it so first things first in the SKS plays channel what have we accomplished lately well the biggest accomplishment is finishing something called harvest moon that's not right at all um, that is a harvest moon but not the one we're looking for there we go harvest moon on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System oh my so many memories with this game. So many people told me not to play it. It would take you forever. And you know what? I They were totally right. <laughs> this game took up so much of my time playing. It was not even funny. I mean, did I enjoy playing the game? Yes. Did I accomplish most of the goals I set out? Yeah. You know? I mean... You know, when you go there and you play with some guy's rod for a long time, you know, by the pond, and you catch 300 pairs of boots. I mean, besides my farm, I got a boot store. I'm selling recycling goods. Um, thing, things went pretty well in the game. I mean, we set goals. We wanted to fall in love. We wanted to get all the hearts with the women. We wanted to make a million dollars. We had a stupid hurricane come through. You know, a lot of goals happened. I mean... There was me, and I had my dog, Mr. British Gamer, and we had a great relationship with one another. He was always there showing his balls to everybody on TV. Um, I, I enjoyed you all watching that, so you would know that. I mean, we had chickens. Lots and lots of chickens who would uh, block me in and keep me from doing anything that I really wanted to. I mean... You all saw my saga. They just sometimes I didn't want to be fed, and they would just barricade me over there in the corner. And sometimes I would throw away mystery eggs. I, it just it happened, and then of course we had to have cows. Lots and lots of cows. It was named after gamers who were watching, some who still talk to me daily, some who I've not talked to for quite some time, but they will live in infamy through. The series Harvest Moon on SKS Plays. Um, yeah, they're there forever. I did find out that there's a stuffed animal of the cows, so I don't know if some of you are interested in trying to find those. I don't know if they still sell them, but, you know, I want one. I, I found the picture. I couldn't find the site where they were sold, but I thought that was neat. I thought that would show that to you all. But, I mean, what do we do the most of the time? What do we do most of the time while we were playing Harvest Moon? Eh, not sleeping, unfortunately, because, well... A lot of time went into it. I mean, hours upon hours upon hours, and I'll go over the numbers here in a minute, but I mean, it's astronomical what it was. Um, most of the early game was spent chasing hot bitches around. I mean, we had Rose, we had Ellen, we had Eve, the bar whore, we had Maria, the church girl, and then Anne over there. Um, you know... <sighs> I chased them all, and I thought I had them all maxed out. That was one of the goals, was to get all the hearts maxed out. And, well, some of them were. A couple were at 999, and some of the other ones were, you know, in the lower 900s, and some were in the high 800s. So, you know, I kind of failed on that. So, I apologize. That was one go. I mean, we all know that my number one go in the game was to fuck the bar slut. I mean, that that's what she was. I mean... I could have just brought Mr. British Gamer there, like in this picture, and showed. I, I could have nailed her. I mean, she's look, look how short that skirt is. I mean, it's just like, damn, bitch. I mean, because, you know, Harvest Moon is all about hoes. And with hoes, I mean, you know, actually, you know, working the garden and doing that. I mean, it took us one day to clear off the whole property. And we kept it going. And through tornadoes, or hurricanes, excuse me, we actually hit our goal of one million. Now, if you've not watched the whole series, sorry, I just spoiled it for you. Um, but yeah, we hit the goal that I set. I made all the money. I maxed out. I mean, it was, I had the little gift that kept you from getting the, the hurricanes, but you know, it come anyway. But I mean, we did fall in love. 
we ended up marrying Anne, which on here it says the Queen Dork, so that's kind of fitting for SKS to do that. I mean, you know, if I can find my Dork in, in awesomeness, Dork S, I guess you would say, you know, the Queen of Dorks, then, you know, I'll, I'll be married someday, but, you know, we got married, and we had kids in the game. I mean, we had, you know, little Arnie over there on the right. You know, of course, in this picture, you know, it's a different girl, but yeah, just pretend that Anne's standing there. So we had little Arnie on the right, and then we had the other baby at the end. We never got to name it, but, you know, I'm sure you all would have come up with some clever names. Kefka, something like that. I don't know, Winston Zedmore. You know, something, something crazy like that. You know, Michelangelo, who knows. But what happened the most, and the most oppressive, is we made it to the ending of the game. We beat Harvest Moon. And we got a very long ending, and it showcased a lot of what we did accomplish. And, you know, I encourage you to go watch the series, and if you've watched it, you know, go back and like the videos, favorite them, show that you know, like that stuff. Um... I'll be talking to you a little bit on into the video about liking things and favoriting it and sharing. Um, it's something. So, you know, all in all, what did Harvest Moon give us? Well, it gave me a very big sense of accomplishment. To cover as much, well, as much playtime as I did, as many hours as I put into that game, I'm pretty sure that I can accomplish almost anything that I try to go after in the Let's Playing world. I mean, Harvest Moon, you know, before when I played Colonization, that was a long playthrough. It was up there in hours, but Colonization, or excuse me, Harvest Moon was astronomically larger than anything else. I mean, Gamer Nation, it's it's on from this point on. I mean, I'm I'm not scared of things. I'm gonna go headstrong into them. I'm gonna be headstrong and cocksure, or cockstrong and head, you know, whatever. Um, you know what I'm talking about. But I mean, let's just look at the sheer magnitude that this game took up in my life, and hopefully your all's lives too. I hope that many of you went through and watched. I had comments on every single video, so that means that people have been watching it, and hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um. So yeah, Harvest Moon on the Super, Super Nintendo, 109 videos posted. The videos themselves ran a little over 53 hours. Now, the thing you have to remember is, I speed through a lot of the time where I'm, I'm sitting there actually watering and cutting grass and doing all that other stuff. So that second line there, off screen, I had probably over 120 hours of gameplay. And I fast forwarded through a lot of it. And that's kind of the parts that a lot of people don't understand that go into games, you know, that sometimes when you edit them, which I did for that, and I don't on most of my games, uh, there's been other games that I've played. I know Do Re Mi Fantasy. <laughs> I got so tired of editing it where I died sometimes that I left it in there just so you all would laugh at it. Um, but no, Harvest Moon, I went at gung-ho, editing and speeding up gameplay and letting you all witness the whole game. I wanted people to see, hey, there is a full Harvest Moon on the Super Nintendo that's not been cut through on the interwebs. And SKS Plays put it there. Now, the playlist itself started back in 2011. On May 10th, the first video for Harvest Moon went live. And that continued on to June 2nd, 2013. Theoretically, I uploaded it, you know, a couple of days earlier. But, you know, to go through this. I mean, look at the time span. 754 days. Or, if you like to look at it in weeks, 107 weeks and 5 extra days. 754 days, gamers, equals 2.06 years. That is crazy. That that right there is crazy. But, like I said, it has been an accomplishment. So, what has all of this taught me besides that I can accomplish this? It's taught me that there is no way in hell that I'm doing Harvest Moon 64. <laughs> A lot of people have asked for this, and there's just... I cannot do it. It's there, I cannot invest two more. 
I know that the game is totally different from what I remember. I know that, like, you can't go 24 hours, you know, on that first day and just get more stamina. Um, some of you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I swear that, it, like, it was different. Like, you would get sick or something. Is that that one or the next one? Um, I don't know. But I own that game in real life as well, and, yeah, it's just... <laughs> I just, not right now, you know, maybe in the future I'll do some highlight episodes, I don't know, but you know, right now, just can't go into it, um, yeah, I mean, Harvest Moon for the Super Nintendo, we nailed that one out, Gamer Nation, uh, it's time to move on to brighter and better things, uh, I do believe that that was a growing th thing in the channel, it helped me get better at a lot of things, I talked a lot, we had some fireside chats just like FDR and the nation but we have to move on one of the things I'm going to talk about now is something that's plaguing our country the number two you all are probably thinking what are you talking about SKS two years well yeah I spent two years on Harvest Moon but what else with two well I've noticed that there's fad going on as a high school teacher I notice this all the time what is the infatuation with throwing up deuces I mean, I don't know if you all paid attention to this, but it is an epidemic. I mean, we've got two chains throwing up deuces. We got President Obama throwing up deuces. We got President Obama's wife Michelle throwing up deuces. I mean, hell, Auden Meninjad of Iran, the dictator's throwing up deuces. Usain Bolt, why he's breaking records, is throwing up deuces. We got rich people throwing up deuces. I mean, look at Donald Trump. Guy's balling right there. Hell, even the senator from Kentucky, Mitch McConnell, he's throwing up deuces during a speech. I mean, what's going on? What's going to be next? Leg deuces? You know, they're doing that here on Duck Dynasty. I mean, I, hell, I don't know. I mean, history's been throwing up deuces since World War II. I mean, the only time that throwing deuces is bad is when it's monkeys. I mean, well, we all know what that means. But anyway, what is with the number two? What is with deuces? I mean, deuces aren't always bad. I mean, sometimes two of something's a good thing. A really good thing. Oh, I guess I should advance this now. And you know what makes two even better? Is when you add three zeros to it. And I know you all are thinking, what in the hell is SKS talking about? Two and three zeros? Oh, that's 2,000. Gamer Nation, we have grown to over 2,000 strong. And I am so proud that you all have been subscribing to me. That makes me feel great. And I know on number side, when it comes to YouTube, when there's people with thousands and thousands, I am just as proud of my 2,000 plus subscribers than anybody else out there. You all are what makes this hobby awesome to me. And I wanted you all to be recognized for that. This 2,000 is not about me. It's about you all. It's about you all sharing in a hobby. It's about you all sharing in a genre of gaming, which we all, a lot of people participate in, you know. I watch games that I'm not good at because I like watching other people beat these games. It gives me a sense of accomplishment saying, hey, I know how that game ends now. And sometimes I just like to watch games and laugh. And I also love the social interaction. You all do not understand how lovely it is to let's play and have 2,000 plus people comment and send me messages and talk to me. I mean, you all have to remember, in the course of a normal work day, I have high school students. They're not always the best at school for conversations. And I say that because some of you may be in high school and you realize you talk to your teachers totally different than you talk to your friends out of school now you see what I'm getting at so it's I love talking to people from all over the world even people from France I know I give you a hard time watch someday I'm gonna fall in love with some French girl and that's you all will never let me live it down now whether a French girl is gonna deal with somebody who's blonde headed and blue eyed and really tall I don't know so yeah we've got to celebrate we've hit 2000 2k subs so we're throwing up the deuces and we're having a great time hitting this. And yes, I stole these images back from, you know, 2000 when the millennium hit. Uh, but that's cool, because we can use it to celebrate too. SKS plays hitting 2000 subs. Love it. 
Now, we do have to go into something that I want to talk about that now, because I've mentioned it in some of my videos, you know, hitting this 2,000 plateau is good, but we need to really encourage other people to realize YouTube has changed a lot of things. If you don't watch the videos all the way through, sometimes it doesn't count as a view. Uh, some of the things that can counter that is when you watch a video, when you've watched these videos and you like them, and I mean personally, I watch videos sometimes too, and I'll forget to hit the like button. I'll comment a lot of times, but I won't hit like, and that could actually hurt. So what I'm encouraging you all to do is even in videos that you've watched before, if you go back into them or click on them sometimes, do three things for me. Like the video, number one. Number two. Share the video to your friends. I mean, put it on Facebook. Get it out there. Number three, add it to your favorites list. You know, I mean, I laugh here because I go back and look at this colonization video. I've got 68 likes. That's pretty good. I've got two dislikes. That's okay if you don't like something. Eh, downvote it. You know, I'm not encouraging that, but hell, stuff happens. You know, if there was something in there that sucked, it's better that I'm aware of it than I'm not. And most of you will leave that on comments. And I know that not everybody's going to like Let's Plays. And they might not like the way that I go at it. I mean, I personally believe that I commentate totally different now than I did back when I did my colonization LP. Um, that was actually the year that I was unemployed from working. So, yeah, that was that was a big experiment. And, you know, playing the game all the way through was... Something that really gave me a lot of confidence, kind of like the Harvest Moon game. So, gamers, that's just one thing I want to push through. Make sure you hit the like button. If you like it, like it. If you want to share it, share it. Um, I know that I've been on Steam talking to people. I've been on Facebook talking to people. I've shared stuff on Twitter talking to people. Um, I'm going to start trying to live stream. Now, am I going to be drawing in hundreds and hundreds of people? Probably not. Not at the start. But, you know... If we get more people involved, it will be like that. Um, next thing we need to talk about is what a lot of you have pushed for. Um, and that's coming down the path of, what do I play next? Well, and following the path of a lot of other Let's Players, um, I choose to remain independent from sponsorships and things. I've been offered, um, with only 2,000 subscribers, have I been offered any from the big dogs? No. But some of the other minor pages that are really starting up and bringing people in, I like to leave everything in kind of my control because it's my hobby. Um, and I like to play things without somebody saying, oh, you have to take down that game. Oh, you can't play that one. So that's why I kind of put it in your hands. And this is how I'm going to do that and encourage something that I really need to do. Right now I'm recording this on my laptop. My laptop is great for some things. Some of you that own laptops know laptops can be really awesome. But laptops can also feel like they're setting your crotch on fire or your knees or whatever. I have a cooling pad on mine and it still overheats and I have to stop using it after a while. It's hard to record to do that. Um, also, my desktop is seen better days. I, it's a my PC that I built back in 2004. I was still in college when I built my desktop computer, um, and I was working at the golf course and playing golf for the school. Um, and I would take my scramble earnings when I would play in Thursday night scrambles and things of that nature, and I used it. Well, now, living in an apartment that costs astronomical, my computer is running out, and I want to keep recording and playing for you all. So that's why we can solve two, you know, we can knock out two birds with one stone. The money can go and help me uh, upgrade my computer, and I can record on my desktop more, which is what I want to do. And we can. Uh, institute you all pushing for games you would like to see me record um, you all have talked about doing this so that we can get more di you know variety of games out there instead of you know some of the ones that I just randomly pick 
So I tried to come up with the best way to go through with this, and so what we're going to do is we're going to call this SKS's first annual game blitz. Now, what that means is I'm going to be blitzed by games. You all who donate are going to be telling me which games I'm going to be lining up to play. Now, I have invested in a new recording program, so recording and uploading will go a lot faster. So it's not going to be like before when I'll be recording and, you know, record for 40 minutes and then take two hours for it to process. Now, that could be part of my desktop computer as well, so that's something that could be fixed in the future. But right now, we're going to start working on this. Now, here's, you know, there's going to be rules and regulations to make this successful. I've already had some people poking and prodding and donating things and things of that nature, and that's awesome, but we need to set some ground rules so I can explain it to you how it's going to work. All right, so here's SKS's Game Blitz rules and regulations. Number one, in the, in the link below or, you know, the bar below the video, I've totally had a brain fart and can't remember what it's called. I'm going to post the link. And it's going to be a PDF file that shows all the games that I have on Steam. If you're my friend on Steam, you can just go on there and look. But it's going to show some of the other ones that I have on CD. Now, some of you are going to be really discouraged because you're going to be like, wow, that's not a big game list. I used to have a lot of games. And I actually gave them to like my cousin when I finished and things like that. And since I've moved away, I don't have those. So number one, look at my games list, see what I already possess. Because here's the thing. If I don't have the game and we'll get to this here in a minute I can't play it alright number two the game must be recordable now there's some games that no matter how hard I try you just can't record with them I've had terrible problems with games before and games like you know deadliest catch for some reason it just does not work correctly now we will run into that and that's why we'll have you like if you if you buy me a game and you donate money on top of that and you're like here I want you to play this for a while and it doesn't work I'm not going to hold that against you we we'll just come up with a backup plan and we'll go from there so you know number 2 games must be recordable make sure we got to find ones that work number 3 the game cannot break youtube rules and regulations you know it's got certain parameters that you can't go past i can't play games that have pornography in it um now, somebody asked me about Leisure Suit Larry games. Well, those don't really show things. And Pixels, I'm pretty sure they're blocked out in a lot of cases, too. But you all know what I'm talking about. So, pornography, nudity. Obviously, if it's got videos that are copyrighted, I know that people were talking about the Fallout 2 videos. You can't play those. You know, if you know that ahead of time, you can let me know, and I can make sure that those aren't put up live. Um, and then music. Music's a big thing. You all know that music is one of the biggest things that YouTube goes after. Um, I've learned my lesson here on number three by putting clips from movies and music and all sorts of stuff. And yeah, you can't do that. You got to do your own thing. Now, number four. Here's the big one I want you all to pay attention to. If I already have the game, you can donate money and I'll play it for whatever length of time. Cool. Now, for some of you, you're going to have other games on your mind, whether they come from good old games, whether they're on Steam, whether they're on something else. If I don't have the game, now, if it's something cheap, talk to me about it, and, you know, I can probably acquire that on my own. But if it's something that, you know, I'm probably not going to be able to acquire, you might want to go ahead and buy the game and then, you know, donate on top of that. You know, help me out. And, you know, with that, if you're getting games, and on my game list, I've already put in italics people who have purchased me games. Uh, they get the bonus for that. You know, they, they you know that that's something they deserve. They, I, I, I want to make sure the channel is yours. When you all do something good that promotes the channel, you all reap the rewards of it. So that's kind of one of those things. Now, now if you donate, we'll go over how to donate here in a minute. It is send it to a certain email. That's not the email you need to contact me at because I don't always check that one. You need to use number five, the email sksplays at outlook.com. And then we could chat back and forth about your donations and you know the game you want me to play and the time and all of that thing in that nature and we'll go from there on that so don't don't get too bogged down about it now number six remember that the next page is averages and suggestions I've seen around the internet because people always ask well write them out what do I donate what do I do what I you know I'm not gonna tell you that some people have more money than other people 
we all know that um, <laughs> in America right now our economy for Wall Street looks like it's doing awesome but for people who are working day to day not so much but here's some averages I've looked at different sites and here's what they've seen so what you need to do to donate to me go to my YouTube channel and yours will look different because if you're subscribed you shouldn't see that SKS plays channel intro um, what you need to do is you click up there under SKS plays where it says donate to the gamer nation it will then go to a screen that may look like this or it may look different I have no idea why I, I, I blacked out that email and password because it was blank <laughs> so I don't know but you gotta make sure the screen looks kinda like this where it says SKS let's play donation and you enter your amount and go through everything you know it may look different but this is just kinda giving you an idea so again you go to SKS plays my YouTube page and you click on the donate to the gamer nation again you're donating to the gamer nation I'm not gonna take this money and go down and buy tacos from Taco Bell because well I'm on a diet I've lost 14 pounds I don't want fast food and then you'll go there now once you've done that here's the page that I was building up to the the suggested donations or hourly or this is like what some people on Facebook and people on Steam have talked about you know the going rates you know the around twenty dollars for an hour around forty dollars for three hours around eighty dollars you know and then if it's over a hundred dollars you message me and we'll talk about how long I'm gonna play that game um, now at the end of the video when I do my live section where I'm actually on camera there's gonna be a prize for who donates the most and uh, it's going to be kind of humorous right down my alley, and uh, there there'll probably be some other stuff added on to that. So no, that's a little bit of incentive to get involved in this. Now again, those are just suggested. I'm not I'm not one of those people that's at. Like I said, I do this as a hobby. If it happens, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This is for people who want to contribute, and and that's what a donation is. If you want to contribute, you can, and if you don't. I don't care. I'm not going to dislike you. I'm not going to be against you. I'm not going to say, oh my God, you're blocked from my channel. That's what I want you to know. So what you need to do if you decide to donate, and you need to follow these steps. First off, you've got to email me at sksplays at outlook.com. Email me. Uh, put your name, whatever it was, on the PayPal or your full name. Uh, and give me information about what you donated. You might even want to put your amount on there so I know it's you and I can match this stuff up. Um, explain in your email what game and what you would like me to do. Number four, we'll figure that out. And number five, we all reap rewards. <laughs> so I, I think that that's kind of um, self-explanatory on that aspect. Now, is this a long, drawn-out process? No. I talked to many of you on Facebook. I talked to many of you on you know I have Skype as well uh, if you go back and watch my introduction video I have Skype on there uh, that might even be listed on my gamer nation page on Steam you can see that so there's many ways to get a hold of me let me know now some of you are asking well, what are you gonna do with all this what's the goal SKS what's the goal for all this what's your vision And I kinda hinted at it earlier I'm totally gonna go out and build my own juggernaut suit no. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Guys, it, it all comes down to, this is totally not me, by the way. It's some computer technician that looks like nobody I know. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upgrade my computer so I can play more games and entertain you all. That's, like I said, this is my passion. Besides teaching, which is my first love, let's playing is my second love. Uh, masturbating's third. Um, <laughs> but i want to upgrade my computer i want to be able to play games for you all i want it to be awesome i want you all to be entertained i want everybody to be part of this and that's what it's all about i want to be able to play games um, and i cannot do that without your all's help 
Um, I sincerely do love every one of you who watch my channel. I really do. I, I'm super ecstatic. Um, I've been doing this for, you know, a number of years now. If you go back and look at my first games I uploaded when I was trying to impress some crazy website, which made no sense whatsoever. And then, you know, I found the Voltron Army, and I encourage you to go there if you've never been to the Voltron Army forum and talk to those people. They're awesome. Um, but, yeah, you all make Let's Playing worth what it's, you know, I, I, I don't even know how to say that. I'm not good with certain words, and that, that's one of them. So that's what this is all about, gamers. It's all about playing games you want to see me play, games that you want to see me fail out, games that you want to see me try to attempt to crush, and I might get destroyed. Um, you know, like if you donate, you're going to be able to tell me what difficulty to play on, or you know. But you got to think about if you tell me to play it on the hardest difficulty, you might not see me beat the game. So you know, keep that in mind. You all probably know the games better. Um, so I'm going to hop off this picture thing and get ready to talk to you face to face. So gamers, I hope you've enjoyed what you saw so far. I hope you've thought about it. Um, I'll see you in a little bit. <clears throat> the new textbooks do a splendid job telling how the five civilized tribes, the Choctaws, Chickasaws, Cherokees, Creeks, and Seminole... Oh, hey there, gamers. How are you doing out there, Gamer Nation? SKS here, just giving you a face-to-face -face, uh, update on how the channel is transpiring. As we reviewed just a minute ago, uh, we've hit 2K subscribers. Thank you for that. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I really... I never thought that I would reach that. I know that sounds like that's practice, but honestly, no. I've just set up my cell phone because it has the best camera on it. I, I really mean that, gamers. Without you, I would not be doing this. Um, we've got big things coming for the channel in the future. Uh, we're starting up Civil War Generals 2 again. A lot of you have asked for that. We're playing a variety of games. And we got the first annual SKS Game Blitz starting up, which you all... We're just giving the information about, so hopefully I can start hearing from a bunch of you on Steam, Skype, Facebook. Uh, go to the channel, like the stuff, um, come visit me, talk to me. Um, you know, I wanted to do something kind of special for you all. So, I decided to give out a prize. And no, not this sexy body, but no. I'm going to be giving out a limited edition. There's only one in existence of this item. And I thought it would be perfect for this. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you should know the joke behind this. Because it was said that one day a king would arise, Sir Robin of Rocktree. <laughs> the gamer from Gamer Nation who donates the most money will be given an autographed crown that has been worn by me, SKS, and some other stuff. Uh, there's more to it, but uh, I'd be in it just for the crown. This thing is snazzy. I mean, it's going to be hard to give up. I mean, I stole this from a little kid, and yeah, it's pretty epic. So gamers, again, thank you for everything you've done for me. The 2K viewers... The push in to make this SKS Game Blitz, the first annual one, a success. I mean, some of you have already started pouring in emails and donations and things. I really thank you for that. And I hope that you're still taking me serious with this crooked helmet, uh, crown, crown on my head. And that I just, I, I really want y'all to know that, like I said earlier, teaching first, let's playing second, masturbating third. Um, I do this for you all. Um, the social interaction, uh, just being able to be out there and talk with so many of you that I've met from all over the world, uh, it, it, it's a special hobby. It, it really is. I'll, I'll set this over here now. But, um, I mean, I, but honestly, I mean, I, I've really enjoyed the ride that I've been on, and I hope that there's nothing but success in the future for all of us. Uh, if you're Let's Playing, message me. Let me know about your channel. I want to come watch you. Uh, if you want to do a co-op, um, I didn't put up numbers for that for donations. I never even thought about it until just now. If, if, if that's how you want to break into co-oping and you're willing to do that, let me know. Um, now, make sure you pick a uh, multiplayer game. Some people have tried to co-op with me before. <laughs> Crimson the Wolf. Um, 
and they picked a game that really wasn't multiplayer. So remember, some games, Monopoly, may seem like they're multiplayer. In person, if you're together, that's fine. But if not, you can't play them over Steam. you got to think about that. But anyway, hope that all of you are doing wonderful out there in Gamer Nation. want to wish you good night. And I'm already going to start reminding you to like the video, favorite it, and share it to everybody you know. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I'm going to try to do a live stream within the next two weeks. You heard me. I'm going to try to do one. Uh, I'd really like to hear some out support about that, about you all are going to show up and watch me so I don't look like an idiot. Um, I mean, you know, it's one of those big things I want to do. Uh, so, again, I want to bid you adieu. God bless, and I'll see you next time. Good night, gamers.